previously in our game, I could open our menu and still move around our character. You can see the backgrounds moving around. I can even move to new areas in our map. In most games, you can't normally do this, and we currently don't have a pause system implemented in our game. But by the end of this video, when I open the menu, you won't be able to move anymore. I know you can't tell, but can you hear that? I'm pressing the keys and he's not moving. <laughs> cool, let's add a pause system. So first of all, I'm gonna write our pause controller script. I'm gonna put this on my game controller where I store my other types of controllers that are globally used across our game and click add component new script, call this pause controller and open this up. And inside here, we don't need start or update, but we will want a public static bool, which I'll call is game paused. I'm gonna use curly braces and go get semicolon private set so we can get this publicly from any other script, but we can only set it within our script and set this to equal false. So the game starts not paused. Now to be able to pause our game, I'm gonna write a public static void, which I'll call set pause. And we'll pass in a ball, which I'll call pause. And we'll simply go is game paused equals pause. So all we'll have to do is pass in true or false to pause our game. True being it'll pause the game and false being it'll unpause our game. And we'll be able to use this variable from our other scripts to check if our game is paused and then edit our functionality. So if I jump back to Unity and we know we want our player to pause when our menu is open. So let's first make the game pause when our menu opens. I have my menu controller on my UI canvas. Since this is the parent above our menu, so I'm gonna double click on my menu controller script. So in here, you can see when we press tab, we toggle the active status of our menu. So if it's open, we'll close it. And if it's closed, we'll open it using this menu canvas active self. So is the menu active in the hierarchy? We can reuse this by going pause controller, set pause and passing in menu canvas dot active self. Since if the menu is open and this is true, we want it to pause. So we'll set pause to true. Now, if for any reason our game is paused by something else and not our menu, say an NPC dialog box open, we don't want to be able to open our menu as well and confuse this pausing logic. So I'm gonna say if not my menu canvas dot active self, so is the menu closed and pause controller dot is game paused. So if our game is paused, I'm going to return. So we won't continue with this menu functionality. Cool, so let's go back to Unity. Now I'm going to click on our play and now we can use this pause to stop our player from moving. I'm going to click on our player and you can see we've got our player movement script. I'm going to double click on this to open it up and now I'm going to use our pause controller to stop our player's movement. So if I scroll down a bit at the top of our update, I'm going to say if pause controller dot is game pause, then I'm going to set our rb dot velocity to equal vect2 dot zero, which will stop our player's movement. And you can see when we're moving, we set R is walking in our animator to be true. And when we let go of our movement, we set is walking to be false. Since we're stopping our movement, I'm gonna copy this animator set ball line and paste it so our frog doesn't run on the spot. And then I'm going to return. Now you might think, okay, great, that's all we need. I'm gonna show you what it looks like right now. As if we left it like this, our frog looks a bit strange and it's a bit hard to explain without showing it. So if I press play, now I'm walking, I'm gonna keep holding down the walking button, open my menu. Okay, I can see in the background we're not moving, but if I now close my menu, okay, we're sliding. <laughs> that doesn't look right, does it? You see that we were idling and sliding down. Let's do that again. I'm going to walk up, open the menu, and then keep holding it. Yeah, that looks strange. So yeah, you can see it's broken. So What's happening is we're setting is walking to false. And because I'm holding down the move input, this is walking isn't getting set to true again, since it wasn't a new input action. It was a continuous one, but since before we paused the game, is walking was set to false, and then it kept moving again using our RB velocity update. So to fix this, I'm gonna remove this animator is walking true from our move function, and instead put it in our update function underneath where we set our RB velocity. And instead of setting is walking to be true, I'm gonna to set it to rb.velocity.magnitude and check if that is greater than zero. The magnitude is the overall speed that our character is moving. So if it's greater than zero, that means he's moving and he should be set to is walking. So cool, now if we go back to Unity and press play. Okay, so he's moving around all good. That's good, we didn't break any of that. If I now walk down, open our menu, then close it while still holding down, you can see he walks correctly with the right animation. I'll walk to the right, open it up. And now move to the left, let's switch it up. He's moving to the left. Cool, we've got a functioning pause system. 
I know in the previous video I said we'd be adding NPCs, but as I also said, this was handy for NPC behavior as well. When the dialog box opens, I'm gonna pause the game. So I slip this one in quickly. Something else I'm also wanting to use for our NPCs is sound effects. So guess what? Our next video, we're gonna be adding a sound effect system, which is very fun and will make our game feel much more alive. As always, you can grab all my scripts on our Patreon for $7 a month or five pound a month. That's all code files on the whole channel. And final chance to get this template half price, unless I do a sale later, you know. The amount of features we have is now getting so big that this sale is not a viable anymore. <laughs> so grab the template which includes all our finished features right now and you'll get all future updates for free. So check it out. If not, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!